Brown as he said could have a, uh, a passing shower or two this morning. Right now we have uh, temperatures at about 51 uh, degrees as we uh, continue with the KWIN Today program. Glad to have you along with us this morning. It is the Newsmaker segment on a Wednesday and uh, here a day early because of Thanksgiving uh, uh, season is Dade County Executive uh, Ted Rummy. He's in the studio with us this morning. Going to be talking with him about several things that's going down with the county. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. 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 I understand y'all are trying to beat the rain today for some last minute paving. What road are you on? Uh, they're on uh, down going into Johnson's Crook there. There's a stretch through there that's really, really was been bad for a long time, and and uh, they're putting some binder down just to try to get uh, get through the winter, and then next summer we'll put uh, some topping on it. But it's, it's really got it gotten bad, and uh, they just like I talked a bit just a minute ago, like about ten ton being finished before the rain gets here. That looks like it's going to work out real good, and and uh, we'll go on with it. We got we'll still have some patching you know throughout the county we'll be doing, but the major paving that'll that'll wind it up for cold weather. Yeah. All right. Well, that is good, and they can concentrate on County Road Six there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's and that's right. moving along pretty well, isn't it? It is. Oh yeah. We we're working every day up there. Yeah. We were uh, waiting on Georgia Power. They're in the process of moving those power lines. I told you about. It's a pretty good operation there, and they'll they'll notify everyone. I'm sure there there may be, like you said last week, we talked about it. A little power outage there when they change do the changeover, but uh, but we'll we'll keep everybody in so with Georgia Power up to date on that. You know, as far as that that happening. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds uh, that sounds good. Now you got some information earlier this morning that uh, that I think everybody needs to needs to know about, and that's from the uh, the uh, the health department. Uh, throughout the uh, the uh, the testing process, Dade County has had one day a week yep. that uh, we've had uh, where uh, you you drive up testing. You don't even have to get out of your car. You drive in. You get tested, but. Uh, you got notified that they're wanting to suspend that here in day? Yesterday we got a, a, an email and uh, it was from uh, Tammy there at the health department and of course she just passes through what she's you know she works for the state and the state of Georgia which uh, the uh, our, our uh, regional health department which is in Rome uh, it, it informed her that you know that they're going to pull the after the day that'll be the last day that we'll be doing drive-through testing in Dade County which is a you know that's a bunch of bull. That's that's not that's not going to get it. I mean, it's not right to do that. And they said we uh, Dade County to do the drive through would have to go to Walker or Catoosa County, and um, so that's that's just not you know. And I've been on the phone this morning with uh, of course a lot of people's off for, for Christmas. I mean for uh, Thanksgiving, uh, or in in the state anyway. And I did talk to uh, Doctor Nabacchio. He's our uh, district in Northwest Georgia uh, uh, supervisor or director. And um, he said that they made the decision because they can't afford it, you know. And I told him I had to remind him of all the CARES money that they've gotten, you know, from the federal government. And he said, well, that they, they chose Dade County because uh, the, our numbers were lower than the other counties. And gave me gave me a hope, but we don't, don't really make any. That doesn't matter. We've got a barrier between us and the rest of, of the other counties. And it's, it's going to be really hard for anyone that, you know, conveniently to go through and get tested by going, driving over to Walker and Catoosa County. It's just well, not, it's not right. That, uh, it's not, it's not right to do you know, that. The I don't care. County, they've got two days. Walker County's got two days. Dade County's got one day a mm -hmm. week. So they got basically That's testing, true. I believe, mm -hmm. that's going on every day. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to, seems to me it'd be real easy to alternate to, uh, you know, maybe have two half days, one and a half in Catoosa. Well, the way I read it, uh, Carrie can correct me. Yeah. I, I should have brought this with me, but uh, it's, uh, I think now they've increased that to three days over there in Walker and in, in Catoosa and taking our day away, you know. So we'll keep you up. If I can find any more information out, uh, we, we're going to have our up, update at 3 o'clock. I'll inform you, but, uh, you know, uh, definitely, you know, Friday morning, uh, hopefully people will be back at work uh, in the state. Uh, I, I don't know that they will. Probably, probably not because it's a state holiday. Thursday, you know, right? probably It'll also, yeah. uh, you know, or at least what I've heard as far as the, the folks that are using the uh, one day here, mm -hmm. a lot of the folks that they're seeing are people from other counties that are coming over That's true. because they can't get tested, say, That's in right. Catoosa County or, or right. Walker County or Chattooga right. County, so they're driving to uh, Dade County on mm -hmm. the day of testing. That's true. Like today. Right. Well, they're lined up out there this morning. You know, I mean, it's not... This is not the time to cut a facility or a testing facility 
uh, whether it be in Dade or anywhere else right now, because things are not getting any better. You can listen to the news. Just, you just played it there no, just a minute ago. It's not, it's, this is not right, and especially with all the CARES money that's came down the pipe for this, you know. Of course, the right. state took uh, the big, a big portion of that and balanced the budget in the uh, uh, unemployment. You know, that's, that's, that's great. Well, but other that's states not, are doing that. Again. They are, too. This but, morning, but, Alabama's but, doing that. But exact before you do thing. that, you need to take care of your people what that money was actually appropriated for, which is a COVID virus. You know, I mean, it's, it's actually, so it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Of course, sometimes things at the state level and federal that don't make any sense, but this right here really, really cap, caps it, you know. To try to do well, this. they definitely don't uh, need to be cutting back on testing. Yeah. If folks want to get tested, yeah. if they feel like they've been exposed or yeah. whatever, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and limb. I, I think you'll be able to rectify that. I believe when you get get to talk to the right folks, and and if you are probably sitting down looking at your numbers, Dade County has been uh, very fortunate. Yeah. As, well, in as Northwest as Georgia, we have, but we're right. a smallest county. Yeah, exactly. We're the smallest county up here. You know, and uh, one, you know, he he did try to kind of smooth things over by saying, and it is good. After today, uh, after this week, you'll be able to get a free rapid test by going inside the health department. But you've got to prove you've got to have symptoms. You've got to show them that you're sick before they will do that for you. Now, would well, you can't just walk inside? I need to, I need a rapid test. You've got to be uh, show symptoms of the COVID. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, which that's that's great. It's well, the greatest thing, that, but that it's not it's a, not the uh, same. It's not thing. the same at all because people feel comfortable staying in their own vehicle, coming through there, instead of going into the health department or any doctor facility as far as that goes. And so, but we're working on this right now. This is a priority well, thing. Good deal. Yeah. I appreciate. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know the uh, listeners out there will be uh, will be very concerned uh, to, to be able to find that if it's going to continue. Now, I guess we do need to tell the uh, folks today they are open today. Oh, they are. And, they, and they're they're lying. They was like I think four or five cars. That I just came down from there, and uh, and, and they're. Carrie, they're, they're do you know the hours? I do not. I can look it up. All right. right. Well, we can let everybody know at least today how long they're going to be here. I think it's still four o'clock, but I. Yeah, I don't they close. They close for something. lunch. You know, at twelve. You right. know, they they they, they do shut down for lunch, and then I think they're here to about four four thirty. You know, and uh, testing. You know, but they they've already opened up, and they've got like I said, going people going through there. And, uh, uh, speaking of COVID, we've got one office there <laughs> in your administrative building that has uh, uh, has closed to the public, but is still doing uh, lots of in, uh, lots of uh, transactions through the uh, the window. True. Uh, and that is the uh, tax commissioner's office, and they're uh, they're going to be uh, closed until uh, Monday, and then they'll open back up for their lobby, I believe. That's true, unless we have a positive, you know, unless we actually it, it does generate in, which we don't foresee that. Right. But I mean, you know, you've got to do what you got to do. But right now, that's that's the plan is to open back up normal hours on Monday morning. Yeah. The uh, the uh, superior court. I'm sorry. The hours today are nine to twelve, and then twelve thirty to four thirty. Twelve thirty to four thirty. Yeah. Nine to twelve, and then twelve thirty to four thirty. Exactly. Today. For the exactly. drive-in uh, testing in Dade yeah. County, let me. Uh, you know, uh, we got word uh, uh, over the weekend that uh, there had been a couple of positive tests of the grand jury in Chattooga County, yeah. and of course, our superior court covers all four counties of uh, Dade, Walker, Catoosa, and Chattooga County. Yeah. And uh, the chief judge, uh, Christina Cook Conley. Of course, uh, had a meeting, I think, Monday and issued a, uh, a continuation of an emergency order they've used a couple of times this year. And uh, that basically is, uh, is limited the superior court system mm -hmm. on a case-by-case uh, on a, on a, uh, -case basis. I That's, guess. True. That's true. That's true. But, uh... but this did not affect the entire court system, and the offices are still open. Yeah. Uh, this is only for the superior court cases, either civil, or criminal, and uh, and I'm assuming, mm -hmm. and, and of course uh, the uh, the grand jury as well. True. And uh, they will, the, the your attorney or your uh, uh, whoever you're dealing with will let you know on a case by case basis if they're going to do it. And this That's is right. Thirty days. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Thirty. And and days. probate and magistrate, I think you know they they're their own court, so that'll be up to that'll be their decision. As far as I'm concerned, but the not, order was only yeah, for the spirit. Was court. only for spirit court. That's right. That's All right. right. Yeah. Now, a lot of things, a uh, lot of things going on, and of course, uh, you know, Dade County, uh, d definitely uh, a part of the uh, the voter. We've had a uh, an audit on all of our paper trail ballots uh, last week. We had an official recount yesterday as well as the entire state. And George has definitely been on everybody's mind as far as the That's election true. That's true. is concerned. Mm -hmm. And 
just a just an update a little bit on the one vote that was uh, uh, sent in by uh, by mail that turned out to be a, a deceased former resident. Uh, you know, of course, they did turn it over to the uh, sheriff's department for the investigation, and a investigator from the secretary of state's office was up uh, working with them on that just in the last day or so. So, yep. you know, I'm trying to find out exactly who may have sent that because it is a felony. It is. I, I think. I think they. I think they'll find. I think they'll trace it. I think it'll. it'll well, you know, they, feel, they've definitely they got win. the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, through technology to be able to do some of that, and, mm. and uh, I think everybody would like to know. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously. And then it'll be prosecuted. I mean, to the fullest extent. You know, I mean, it. it no doubt. Yeah. No doubt about it. Uh, anything else, uh, Commissioner, that uh, that you can think of? I mean, of course, we're getting into Thanksgiving uh, coming up. The uh, county offices are going to be closed for the next two days. The transfer station will be closed tomorrow, but open on Friday. Open on Friday. We do that every year. Yeah, and same thing. You know, during Christmas because that day after, usually people have have a lot of garbage. You know, they want to try to have time off. So uh, we have uh, have people. You know, they work. We don't force them to work. We, we volunteer. You know, they they do volunteer, and. Uh, so uh, it's uh, it's good to good to that that will be open, but uh, mainly you know just uh, the the COVID you know we need to you know this this is coming in everyone we got I've seen more out of state tags here lately than I've seen in the last couple of days in, in uh, a long time and I, I'm not talking about the linemen uh, out of state these are people coming in to visit so there's a lot of people uh, still having their Thanksgiving and uh, as usual and there'll be a uh, a lot of people, you know, they're uh, in closed confinement together. Oh, thank goodness tomorrow's going to be a pretty day, so a lot of people can get out, you know, and, and, and try to enjoy it. But the biggest thing is just, uh, you know, use common sense, you know, and uh, and wear your mask and try to uh, do social distancing as best as you can. And uh, as uh, as Kemp, uh, Governor Kemp said just a little bit ago, you know, try to have a good, uh, really a, a nice uh, Thanksgiving and enjoy it. and. And, and, and think some positive, bring some positive into your life, but, but still be careful. You know? It's been a hard, yeah. uh, been a hard year, but at, at Thanksgiving, yep. I mean, it, that is, that's probably even probably a little bit more than Christmas is yep. centered around families sitting down and eating. Exactly and, right, gathering, uh, you know, gatherings. That's and right, gathering yeah. and and, yeah. and uh, families yeah. and and a lot of folks even know that you know they've uh, give us uh, uh, warnings about limiting or whatever, but you know a lot of people just. You know, it's it's Thanksgiving. They're mm -hmm. going to go home to grandma's. That's you right. know, and That's right. you know, exactly. or, or moms or yeah. or wherever. Yeah. I, I I think moms and grandmas get uh, yeah, that that word gets used a little bit more. But you know, dads are yeah. normally home too. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Dads yeah, and yeah. grandpas. And, and on a, a, another positive <laughs> note too, I did want to mention this. You know, we if you're out, you know, in the evenings and you, you want to, you know, you're out riding around, looking around, you know, for at lights. Now come through Rising and we've got our Christmas lights up this year. First time we've ever did, uh, did that, and thanks to donations from private citizens, our community center, and we've been having the ham shoots down there, and that money's been going toward them, and it finally so made it. So downtown rising. It. Oh yeah, we've got we've got fourteen. First time I heard about it. It really looks nice. It really it looks better than I thought. Really, you know, when we got them up, and thanks to the fire department, Matt Hill and the chief, and Eddie Cagle and all them down there, they've really been. Uh, really helped us. Um, they're all part of it, and we, in fact, we uh, we worked uh, Friday and evening and then Saturday uh, putting them all up. And similar what, to what Trenton's got out. Yeah, oh, like yeah. on the yeah, on, pole? yeah, it's it's pole lights. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, ours is different. Then. We got them from a whole different company, you know, and all. But it's a, a little different. You can go through Trenton, look at theirs, and and compare and just see what you think, you know, because it's uh, it's, it's it just adds a little bit to the community and a little, a little p positive, well, you know. We've had we've had a lot of really uh, positive comments on it, and uh, we will be having, uh, uh, like I said, the money from our ham shoots are going toward that uh, too. But the uh, we'll have one in the morning. We always have one uh, the on Thanksgiving morning early, and, and it usually lasts about two hours. But it'll be at the community center, so we will be having that, and that'll be our final one until Christmas. And we'll have a couple right around Christmas. So uh, if you've never been to one, you ought to come and see what it's what it's about. You know, those yeah. uh, those things, like a lot of things when we were growing up, have slowly started to fade away. They, uh, they have. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm yeah. glad that yeah. I know North Aid. Uh, they used to do a lot. We, mm -hmm. we, I think they do one about every Saturday. I think they still. But this is a seasonal thing for us that we. We do the uh, Saturdays through uh, through November, and we start. I always start the first Saturday in November, and uh, then we uh, have one, you know, on Thanksgiving morning. 
and then we skip a few weeks there and then we start back uh, a couple of Saturdays before Christmas. And uh, everybody has a good time. It's, it's just a good, uh, we only allow just old plain uh, barrel shotguns. There's no, you know, a modified, you know, guns or anything there. Uh, as uh, long as the 20 gauge uh, shell will fit in the end of your barrel, you're legal. You know, I mean, it's called considered a full choke, but we don't allow any of the, uh, the sleeve guns or anything like that. And that makes it fair to everyone. You know, last week we had two people win with just a small, cap, uh, well, 20 gauge, and they were ladies, young girls that shot, and they won, you know. So, you know, you, you have, everybody has a chance to, to win. So it's, it's just a good, it's just a good thing, good thing. All right. Well, that'll be uh, that'll be coming up in the morning. What time? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah, and then Davis, you know, they have their they'll start theirs out there. I think uh, Rooster. I've talked to him. I'm not sure when, but we'll be kind of uh, giving that because they do that for a fundraiser too. Also at the at the uh, their horse uh, the saddle club out there. So, but anyway, it's just uh, just some positive things there. And, and if you have, like I said, riding around tonight, we've got uh, I've got a couple of them got a little problem with, but we've got some light bulbs coming here you know, to. Uh, that they were kind of damaged in shipping, but uh, all in all, it's really pretty. It's a pretty drive through there. Yeah. All right. Well, good, uh, good deal. I have to uh, have to get down there in the, in uh, in the community, uh, rising rising fund. Now I know you're a big history buff, especially about Dade County. A lot of people don't know that rising fund used to be bigger than Trent. Oh yeah, that was. It was. Know, they had that. It was a booming yeah, head. Uh, was, you know, uh, several story hotels mm -hmm. right along the uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the railroad tracks down there, and yeah. had the brick sidewalk with brass uh, uh, street lights. You know, had a street lighter. You no, know, I mean there's a lot of history there. Had uh, they had uh, nine saloons, and just in right there in downtown Rather Park, nine saloons. Uh, so, and it was a big a big area, you know, right there. And of course, that was when the furnace was going. The actual. Uh, the furnace, uh, smelting furnace over in uh, Johnson's Crook, and there was uh, there was an excess of 200 houses over there, you know, uh, company houses, but they were all over the place over there. And so it was a big, uh, it was a big community. I mean, at that time, you know, and it just that's what they call a boom town. When it went away, when when that went away over there, then it kind of it faded back into rising fund because there was no, of course, no people, no money to to keep it, and so it it shriveled down there, you know. But uh, so it's uh, pretty interesting, but. Oh, absolutely! It really, uh, really, really is history. We had uh, Donna Street on a couple of uh, weeks ago, and it's always—I mean, she's a big history buff, and and uh, the historical society—they're uh, selling calendars. That's uh, right. I don't know if you've—I'm uh, sure you have. You've seen the uh, 2001 oh, yeah. version where it's uh, Dade County historic uh, calendars of schools, mm -hmm. and we went through uh, page by page and all the different schools that. Uh, it's, it's, it's really opinion. interesting. There's some schools I didn't really realize. A couple of them I didn't There's realize. A couple of them I didn't either. I'd never yeah. heard of them. Yeah. yeah, especially the one at New Salem. It looks like an old barn that Mr. Pennington went to school in. If you look at that, that was that was their school out there they went to, and it was. Uh, it's, it's really. I think. What did you say? Ten dollars. That's what. I the, think so. And you get yeah. them at the Dade County and, Library. Uh, yeah, and and also the commission office. We keep we oh, keep okay. them there because we help them we help them print the, the, the things there. So. Well, that uh, that is just, that is just neat. I think it's. Uh, it's it's great to uh, 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 to be able to uh, to highlight that history. A lot of folks do not uh, remember. They don't even remember recent history. You know the <laughs> elementary school that I went to that burned. Yeah. Um, you know. I know. Uh, you know. It, uh, that so was a high school. That was actually that was the old high school. That was yeah. it. I think at one time wasn't that pretty much every all the grades in Trenton anyway. That was it. Right. And uh, you know that was a uh, that was a beautiful yeah. building. Really, the architect yeah. of that building was. Uh, and, but it, I mean, things of course change and and uh, and move on. But a lot of people do not. Uh, that's probably under the age of uh, what, thirty or forty. Don't even remember that building. No, they really don't. And, no. At all, no. Commissioner. Thank you for coming in. I uh, wish you and your family a uh, very happy uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, as y'all uh, as y'all will get together, I'm sure. And and uh, you know, we still. Got a lot to be thankful for. It's been a rough year. But we do. Still got so much to be. Be thankful. thankful you live in Dade County. Look around you. Look at where you live. Look to people. I mean, it's uh, we're fortunate. And the people that live here, they need to not take it for granted because it's a good place to live. And you know, you have a few people that don't appreciate it, but that's that's fine. They can go back where they come from. It doesn't matter, you know. I mean, but they. Well, I all, have found I'll, out over the years yeah. that those few people. Yeah. There's a few people in every community. They are, They always are. They always are. They're you know. not happy no matter what. Yeah, that's right. But that's just that's part of life, you know. It takes all kind of people to make the world go around. And uh, if y'all need anything from me, my number is six six seven eight nine nine nine. Your code four two three. I answer my phone seven days a week, holidays doesn't matter. Call me. 
And if I can help you, I'll, I'll do what I can to, to, to be there for you. And all the other commissioners too, uh, their phones are uh, their phone numbers are very available there on our on our website. And I uh, hope all of you have a safe Thanksgiving. And uh, like I said, if you need me, call me. Yeah. All right, Bay County Commissioner uh, Executive Ted Rumley on the Newsmaker segment uh, here a day early for. Uh, uh, that is right. I keep thinking it's Thursday. That's right. Today's yeah, Wednesday. Uh, and don't forget, they will have their uh, Thursday <laughs> update on Wednesday yep. afternoon at no. 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Put that in. Three Thank you for being here. It's uh, about three away from the top of the hour. Got a quick break. And, we'll, and uh, then coming up at the top of the hour, news all the way from News Radio KWN and uh, some classic television all the way on KWN TV. Stay with us. All right.